Well, the next mayor of Colorado Springs will be the city's third under a strong mayor form of government, as it's called. Now, it's a change voters decided about a dozen years ago. News 5's Bill Folsom caught up with some of the people who led the charge for the change and how it's impacted the way Colorado Springs is run. Arguably, in strong mayor style, a recent headline from a front page news story quotes Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers speaking out against a zoning proposal by the governor. Well, that's a perfect example of how an elected mayor can speak forthrightly and lead a community. That, that statement right there. Professional mayor has more authority to interact directly with their peers, people like the governor, even the president, other mayors around the state. Kevin Walker and Rachel Beck were key players in the campaign to increase the clout of the mayor in Colorado Springs. Mayor was not a full-time job. It's a part-time position just like any other city council member. The, the mayor had only ceremonial duties, did not have, did not have any other uh, ability to appoint positions to make policy. The professional day-to-day -day management was left to the city manager. The mayor and council served as a board that ratified the city manager's decisions. Around 2010, a group of citizens made up largely of business leaders decided it was time for change. They wanted a form of government more suited for the second largest city in Colorado. 2007, 2008, 2009, we had the Great Recession, obviously. It felt like the community just wasn't responding. It just wasn't dynamic. We finally got to a point in the city's growth and development that community leaders started to think, now is the time that we should change to that more professional, grown-up city sort of management. I think that was kind of a time when it felt like we need to make a change. The more precise description is a mayor-council type of government. The title Strong Mayor grew out of the campaign. Advocates for Strong Mayor saying the city was poised to grow, while opposition said the city manager-council format had served the city well. The city, city hall was not supportive. City council was not supportive. To get it on the ballot, supporters gathered close to 40,000 signatures from voters. The question then did well on election day. The, certainly the voters were supportive. Uh, you know, they passed it 59 to 41. The vote set the standard for today. City Council still works here at City Hall. The mayor is now down the road at the city administration building, a full-time chief executive for the community. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.